today we're revealing all of the side effects you can avoid. and if you spend a lot of time at the computer, texting on your phone, or even overdoing it at the gym, you could be causing serious damage to your hands. just ask sophie. i've been suffering with pain from carpal tunnel for about ten years now. i worked as a sheriff's dispatcher for seven years, where i was constantly typing for ten to twelve hours every day. Carpal tunnel has affected my life in a lot of ways. I make a living as a teacher, but with the carpal tunnel, I have to stop when I'm grading papers. I'm not able to do things that I normally would do in just a regular routine day. When I blow dry my hair, my hands fall asleep. When I hold a cell phone up to my ear, my hands fall asleep. I have shooting pains that go from the bottom of my palm up towards my fingers. I have to take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen every night to help deal with the pain. I sleep with braces on my hands. If I don't wear my braces at night, I'll wake up and my hand is like a claw and I'll have to literally massage my muscles out so that I can extend my hand to a regular position. I haven't had surgery yet because I was afraid of the type of surgery where they were cutting your hand from the middle of your palm all the way down. My symptoms have gotten progressively worse and I just got to the point where I feel like I need to do something. We'll give you tips on how to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome in just a minute, but first let's take a look at how Sophie's surgery went. The procedure that I'm performing today, the endoscopic carpal tunnel release, is a much quicker recovery than the standard open procedure because you have just a small one and a half centimeter scar at the wrist crease. So we mark the hamate bone just on the edge of the carpal tunnel and that indicates the line that I want to put the scope. So now we're going to make a little incision and then I'm going to make a cut through the fascia that's going to be kind of my guide into the carpal tunnel. The carpal tunnel is a tunnel deep within the wrist and it's within that tight tunnel that the tendons that flex the fingers. So with repetitive movement, you can get a buildup of inflammation leading to nerve symptoms of numbness and tingling, weakness in the hand. The ligament is the widest structure and we're cutting through the ligament right there. Now we're going to pull it back towards the incision, cutting the rest of it. And now you can see that there's complete division of the ligament now that I've satisfactorily released the pressure on the uh, tendons and nerves. So I'm optimistic she'll have a full recovery. And I'm here with orthopedic surgeon Dr. John Knight from the Hand and Wrist Institute right here in Beverly Hills and his patient Sophie. How are you feeling? I feel great. Surgery was in September, right? It was in September. Almost immediately, I had wonderful results. I haven't had pain. I haven't had to sleep with my braces anymore. I don't take the ibuprofen. I'm able to do everyday tasks that I wasn't able to do before. It's, it's been amazing. So tell us, what makes your stitchless endoscopic carpal tunnel release surgery so special? The key is with the older procedure, a traditional procedure, there's a three inch scar, five to 10 sutures, this procedure is through a one centimeter incision. Uh, we put the endoscope in, as opposed to cutting down through the skin and fat, we insert this device, we pull a trigger that insert, flips up a little scalpel and cut the ligament from the bottom up. So we minimize all that scarring. Uh, the patients can start moving it right away compared to three weeks in a brace. Okay. Big question for all those sufferers out there, what can they do to make it better and to prevent it first? in the first place? Well, the first preventative thing is ergonomics, posture. Uh, there's a lot, particularly if we're going to talk about just keyboarding or computer use. Mm -hmm. uh, there are split keyboards, ergonomically correct keyboards. Uh, I think here today we, you have a, a mouse that's ergonomically correct in that it, you can keep it in by the side and do a lot with finger movement as opposed to having to move the mouse around. The key with anything you do with your hands, whether it's computer use or texting or driving a car is relaxing. Beyond that, the key is if you're doing repetitive use of the hand or arm, you want to take frequent breaks. And there are a lot of things that you can, you know, if you're on the tight, you know, keyboard for an hour at a time, you want to take a five or 10 minute break. Get up, stand up. There are different stretches you can do that involve holding the hands out like this for mm -hmm. count of five, then here, then here then here, each with a count of five, back to there, and then just shaking your hands out and then sitting back down. But there's also other causes, metabolic abnormalities, um, inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus and things like that. So it's mm -hmm. not just the repetitive use. Gotcha. Well, guess what? Everyone in the audience is getting an ergonomic laser mouse from a smartphone.